Hey, good morning. We are live in Liberty Station and we're getting you in the spirit of the season of giving that is. Coming up, we're talking with former Chargers player Jock Cesar about how he's helping families right here in San Diego around the holidays. That's coming up on Fox 5. Welcome back. Heather Ford hanging out at the Rock Church this morning. She's telling us how we can help families in San Diego this Christmas. Heather, good morning. Hey, Shala, you agree with me. It's never too early to get ready for the holidays, right? You're already Christmas shopping oh, or absolutely. holiday shopping and getting out to the malls online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Setting up the Black Friday plans already, turkeys in the oven, and this is a good idea to think about giving as well. So when you're doing your shopping, think about maybe buying an extra toy or an extra piece of clothing, whatever it is, because that's what's happening at Toys for Joy this year at the Rock Church. And there's a couple of drop-off locations. They're looking for 12,000 toys or more if they can. Um, but there's someone who's helping me out with this campaign. Come on over here, Jacques. So we've got Jacques Cesar. If you've been in San Diego, you know this guy, number 74, defensive end for the Chargers, uh, former player. You're the Chargers for nine years. You look good, buddy. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's uh, Atkins diet. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you serious? No, not no. at all. <laughs> I was like, really? Great. I, I know as a defensive end, you probably got to beef up a little bit. So, yeah. you know, out of the NFL, you're feeling good and uh, helping out with Toys for Joy. What do people need to know this year? Oh, they just need to know that there's going to be a couple of drop areas. The San Diego Chargers have graciously uh, let us use their facilities for one of the drop areas for these big drop boxes. Uh, you can also go to East County or you can donate online. Um, at toys-for-joy.org and um, you know it's just one of those great events where you donate clothing, you donate food, you donate toys and you really light up a family and a child's life. During December 14th, you've been doing this for two years, December 14th is the big day that if you're a family in need in San Diego you can line up at Lincoln High School, you don't have to sign up. Talk about that event, seeing those families and being able to put a toy in a kid's arm may not have anything for the holidays. Yeah, it's definitely an honor and a blessing to be a part of something like that. When you go there and you see these kids that they don't really have a Christmas, so you're providing that for them and they're picking out their toys and, and the, the smiles on their faces is just priceless. So um, just going to the event itself is just is one of those things that really puts life in perspective and uh, I'm just very honored and blessed to be a part of that. Yeah, it's really cool to be a part of this. Uh, I was looking back there, there's bicycles, there's all kinds of stuff. We're yeah. talking about new um, unwrapped toys so if you go to any of the drop stations that's what you want to do and something that they run out of every year really fast is uh, clothing for toddlers and infants which is really interesting so we're looking for necessities whether it's non-perishable food items a really simple thing that you can go out to the store grab while you're out doing your holiday shopping and drop off at one of these places so um how you been though before we go back to the studio uh, Shala and Raul you know it's been a big year for the NFL so watching the Chargers and and how you doing watching your team first year out of the league? You know, uh, it's just one of those things where you know what's going on in that locker room and you know that those guys are working really, really hard and they're trying to win games as, as best as they can. They've had a lot of injuries and, and a lot of young players. So I think that once they get on the right track, they start winning some more games, then they'll get on that run because I still believe that this is a playoff team with the right circumstances and, and, and things going the way it should in the NFL. So. You know, I'm just pulling from my boys. I hope that everybody supports the San Diego Chargers because they're really working hard for, for this team. I got a question for you. How hard is it to talk while we're trying to sing Jingle Bells behind us? Well, really, I really wanted to just jump in right there and just play Jingle Bells because I feel like one of the... Oh, what fun it is to ride. Come on. One, one more. Open hey. hey. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. It's never too early. Never... <laughs> Tell them to sing more. I like it. to ride in a one-horse one open sleigh. Yeah. yeah. Dashing through the snow oh. in a one-horse one open sleigh. All the family go. Laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. Don't stop on Make you spirits right. What fun it is to ride and sing in a sleigh. Oh. Thank you. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Let's do that again. Okay. 650.